I awoke in my sleep was having trouble breathing. I couldn't get a deep breath. So we came to Sparrow here in Lansing um, to the ER, um, had a CT scan. I had two liters of fluid and a collapsed lung. I met Dr. Dr. Sala, who is now my pulmonologist. Fantastic man, outstanding. Um, came in real quick, showed me exactly what he saw there, and that's when I got nervous. He sent the fluid that I that they had taken out from when I first came in to get tested. And true to his word, he called me right from his car and said, I unfortunately have some bad news. It's malignant and you need to get a pad of paper and pencil or a pen right now. And I got some things that you're gonna need to do and do them quickly. And when he's telling me we need to move quick, in my mind, it's bad news. It's worse than what we think it is. And so now you couple that with everything, it's like, it's like, oh my gosh, I just wanted to go bury my head in a pillow and just cry. You know, I was, wasn't sure what to do. And at this point, you know, you just, you, you put it in God's hands and, 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 and you go from there. You know, you, you do what the doctors ask you to do and you cross your T's and dot your I's with it. Don't miss an appointment. You know, and that's the confidence that I have in my team here at the Herbert Herman Cancer Center. You know, 10, 15 years ago, a stage four was a death sentence for people. Nowadays, we have ways of working with it and, and giving you a longer life. So I have confidence to the roof that, you know, that I'm gonna pull through this, I really do. Each one of my team members are the tops in each one of their areas at this hospital. I'm pretty freaking lucky, I'm not gonna lie. And I am so happy that, you know, I get to have call them my doctors. You know, I know that I'm gonna get the proper treatment and the best treatment possible, um, you know, with their knowledge and expertise that I'm never gonna question. It makes, makes it a lot easier for someone in my situation, I think. And my mindset right now with what I have going on is, is I'm enjoying life to the fullest. I'm going and doing the things that I wanna do that I would no normally always do. Um, and that's why I'm doing it, because I can still. There may be a day that I won't be able to, and I don't wanna regret not doing those things.